I've been through a lot of weddings in my life, and I think you have too. But it would be hard for me to think of one in which the couple were as sincere, as magnetic uh, in their love for us, so calling us into their love also. Uh, there's just some magic to your love. And it, uh, I mean, look, the church is packed. And they're here because of your love for each other. And they're here for a good reason, because that love is, it's real. Mackenzie was born December 13th, 1993. We left the hospital December 15th, 1993, exactly 25 and a half years ago today. And like any new father, we, we packed her up in her little carry, you know, probably a pink onesie. I think we had balloons that said, it's a girl. And we're walking in a valley hospital. And out of the corner of my eye, someone I never saw before, I would probably describe her as Mother Teresa without the habit, just an elderly woman yells at me, screams at me. And it wasn't good luck, it wasn't congratulations, it was you take care of her. And I never forgot it, I never forgot it. So as you enter a new stage in your life, Connor, I'm handing the keys over to you. Agape is love that does not count the cost. It's an unconditional love. It's love in the face of hatred and insult and mockery and ridicule. It doesn't matter what I get back, I love this person. And I will love this person for my entire life, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish all the days of my, that's agape. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, and seeing as you have joined your hands, I ask now that you declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Connor, take you, Mackenzie, as my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I, Mackenzie, take you, Connor, as my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to, to love and to cherish, until death do his mark. My sisters and brothers, it is my honor and a very great privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Connor and Mackenzie Burke.